Question 20. The graph of linear function h is shown on the grid. Okay, so guys, this line right here is function h. That's the name of this line. All right. So esta línea se llama h. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Voy a escribirlo. This is h. Given f of x equals x and h of x equals a f of x, what is the value of a? So I have f of x equals x. This is my original. Este es mi original. And then I have h of x equals a f of x. This is my new one. Este es mi, nuevo, uh, mi nueva línea. This is my new line, and this is H. This is my new line. And we want to know what is the value of A, okay? Que es A. ¿Cuál es el valor de A? So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, so don't look at the line. I want you to look at the numbers. No mira el, uh, la línea, solo mira a los números. We're going to go ahead and do the three parts here where we find the slope and the y-intercept to create an equation in slope-intercept form. Vamos a hacer um, las tres partes donde encuentro el slope y luego el y-intercept para hacer una ecuación in slope-intercept form. All right, so part one, parte uno. Part one, you're going to find the slope. Necesito el slope. And there's a formula for that. Hay una formula por este. So you're going to go ahead and look here in your reference materials. To find the slope, you're going to go to the third part, a la tercera parte. This is the formula m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Let's go ahead and find that one right here. So m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And I need the two ordered pairs here. So I'm going to have negative 5, negative 4, and 10, 8. This will be x1, y1, x2, y2. My first x, my first y, my second x, my second y. Mi primer x, mi primer y, mi segundo x, mi segundo y. All right. y2 is 8. Minus y1 is negative 4. Put another one. Pon un otro negativo. One for the minus, uno por el menos, and one for the negative. Y uno por el negativo. Divided by, entre, x2 is uh, 10. Minus x1 is negative 5. Let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. 8 minus minus 4. 8 minus negative 4. Let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. 8 minus negative 4. Okay, remember, minus negative is positive. Menos negativo is positivo. So it's 8 plus 4. It's 8 más 4, which is 12. 12. Divided by 10 minus negative 5. 10 minus minus 5. 15. And let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. 4 fifths. This is my slope. Este es mi slope, my m. Now I need to do part two. I want to find the y-intercept, which is b, right? So you're going to make your list. m equals 4 fifths x, y. All right, you're going to need one point. Necesito un punto. It doesn't matter which one. No importa cuál. I'm going to pick the positives. Yo quiero los positivos. So x will be 10 y will be 8. Okay, you're going to do y equals mx plus b. y, 8, equals m, 4 fifths, x, 10 in parentheses, plus b, copy 8, equals, let's put that in the calculator, esta en la calculadora. So to do the fraction, para hacer la fracción, you're going to do control, divide. Okay, so 4, down, 5, go to the right, derecha, parenthesis, 10, parenthesis, push enter. That is 8. 
copy plus B. I want the B alone, quiero la B sola, so I need to move the number that's on the same side. Entonces necesito mover el número que está en el mismo lado. This is positive 8, es positivo 8. The opposite is negative, el opuesto es negativo. So minus 8, copy, minus 8. 8 minus 8 is 0, 8 menos 8 es 0. 8 minus 8 is 0, here it cancels, aquí se cancela. Because I have something, porque tengo algo, which is B, que es la B. And let's go ahead and switch it. Vamos a cambiar el lugar. B equals zero. Okay, that's my part two. Now part three. We're going to do Y equals MX plus B. I change M and B, cambio M y B. So, entonces, Y equals M is four-fifths, X plus B is zero, B is zero. Now, plus zero basically cancels, más cero básicamente se cancela, right? Because anything plus zero is the same number. Cualquiera más cero es cualquiera, right? Two plus zero is two, dos más cero es dos, three plus zero is three, tres más cero es tres, 4 fifths x plus 0 is 4 fifths x. 4 quintos x más 0 is 4 quintos x. So y equals 4 fifths x. Okay. So basically, here's my original. Let me write them down. My original is y equals x. Remember, f of x is y. f de x is y. My new one, mi nuevo is also h of x is y, h de x is y, y equals a, and then f of x, I'm going to put x here, okay? So this is my new one, because this is h, porque este es h, and I just did it, y ahora lo hice. So I'm going to write this here. Okay, and I want to know a, y quiero saber el valor de a. What is a? ¿Cuál es A? A is four fifths, right? Look, look right here. A es cuatro quintos. Because it's in front of X, porque está en frente de X. Now, on the test, you need to give it in decimal. En el examen necesito dar en decimal. So let me go ahead and change. Déjame cambiar cuatro quintos. To decimal, para decimal. Let me show you how to do that with the calculator. Déjame mostrarles cómo hacer por calculadora. So first, primero, I need to do a fraction. Necesito hacer un fracción. Control, divide. Put the number. Pon el número. Four, down, five. Go to the right, va a la derecha. We're going to push menu. I want to change the number. Quiero cambiar el número, which is number two. Es la dos. So two. I want decimal. Quiero decimal, which is one, uno. Push enter. 0.8. This is my answer. Esta es mi respuesta. So on the test, in el examen, you're going to have boxes. Hay cajas. I don't know how many. No sé cuántos. The first box, el pri la primera caja, is positive or negative. Es positivo o negativo. And then you put the numbers y luego pon los números. So this is positive, positivo, 0, 0.8. And leave the rest empty. Y los restos son vacíos. Okay, so this is your answer. Esta es la respuesta. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching.